I just, people are different. Okay, we have a problem. I'm pacing. This is a therapy session, I swear to God. Oh, yeah, I'm just parked at a random shady spot. Thank God, shady, because my campsite's still taken by its previous reservation. This is the weirdest. The checkout time is six o'clock at night, 6 p.m., and it's 5:35 now. So I'm sitting here. They have to exit this way, so I know what their car RV looks like. So I didn't see signs of life. It, it seems like they're still out on the lake. <sighs> Cause I'm going down there at six. <laughs> and we're, there's gonna be words. <laughs> it's my turn, people. All right, they have it till six, so no problem. See you at camp. All right, it's 6.01. They haven't checked out yet, so we're gonna go have words, I guess. This should be fun. This stresses me out. I'm just sitting here like my heart rate's up and the time's going by so slow because I'm just, cringing that I have to go here and tell these people to get out of my campsite. Absolutely ridiculous. They're probably so drunk they can't even drive or something. So great, it's gonna be great. There they are. I see that RV in the maroon red car. Boy, they are in no hurry, are they? God damn it. I swear to God. Taking their sweet ass time. Like, are they running on a different time zone than me? Or like, what's up? All right, well, there's a mom and a kid, and I'm not gonna approach them. I'm waiting for a dad. So I'm not gonna have words with a mom. They're still connected to power. They're just fucking around. You guys gotta check out a fix? Yes. It's up. No sorry, no, no nothing. Just like, where's your manners? What is wrong with people? Yeah, I'm still setting up camp, but man, that just that took my energy. Just getting mad and trying not to be mad. Just like take, taking deep breaths and pulling up and asking the lady, hey, "Check out six, right?" I didn't say it mean or anything. I said, "Yeah, we're." I don't even know what she said. And the dad just walks up and no eye contact at all. I'm just. I just sat on my camper and I, I was at one point just watching him. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend like I'm doing things. Wish I was, I got my power cable out and laid it up here. That saved at least 10 seconds on my setup, so that's good. But it doesn't matter. What matters is Lake Palm de Terre. Uh, the camp host said it's 13 feet high. Oh my God, the lake level is so high. There's my sycamore tree. Oh my God, my sycamore tree is buried. <laughs> Look there's my sycamore. They're so there they've had a lot of rain. So my sycamore tree from last year, and I gotta figure out which one it, one it is. There was a trail that went to it, but they've actually mowed down some of this grass that wasn't mowed. So there was t this tall grass going down to the lake and, uh, and, and like a trail straight from this campsite. So it has to be like right there. I see remnants of a trail, so that's probably it. So that's probably my sycamore the line of trees is where the shore was last year so last year you, you walked down and at the edge of the uh on the beach was like some rocks um so you could walk on it now it's just kind of muddy and so the gra like the grass is underwater so it's all kind of muddy and gross so it was better last year actually with a uh, little bit of rock to walk on with you know with water shoes on you know it's okay i'll just get the stand-up paddle and then i don't have to walk in that nasty mud and row out a little bit and swim you know what i mean that's the whole deal. The park ranger comes up, so I don't know, that was probably 6.20, 6.25. So he must he must come in at six and make sure people are getting the hell out of Dodge. And he's like, okay, so are you coming or going? And they're, they're still collecting their shit in their cars. And I'm like, I'm coming, I'm here. And they were a little late getting out, but here we are. And uh, still a little trash. And I said, <laughs> cause I look down, there's trash. I'm like, I still got a little trash here, but that's okay. I'm used to picking up other people's trash. <laughs> and I looked in that fire, the fire pit, which I'm not even gonna use. I'm like, is that a dirty f diaper? I, 
I'm losing my mind. It's not, it's like dirty paper towels, which is still disgusting. Okay, it's okay. We don't have to focus on the negative. This is a therapy session, I swear to God. See, those sycamores look pretty small. Like these big boys, I feel like that's, well, those two of them. I feel like that's the sycamore there. Man, I gotta look at my video from last year. So yeah, I'm guying all this stuff down because this will work because I'm not, you know, I'm not going to be walking. I mean, it's just me. Nobody wants to come camp with me. So can you blame them though? I mean, come on, especially in the mood I'm in now. I'm glad no one's here with me. No, that's not true. Actually, I'd be happy if So these are the, the mother, mother sticks. So these will go into anything. I've never not got these into anything. And then you got these guys. I kind of came with the, the awning and you know they've been bent and then bent tried to be bent to back and it's really fun so off off camera i'm gonna stake this down next to this turd it better not be a turd i think it's a burnt stick maybe so i think we're gonna light up these awning lights because that would be fun you like my duct tape hell no I tell you what, man, I'm just talking. Sorry about that, but it's nice to talk to. Nice, nice to have you here, camera. Some squirrels playing grab ass. I do not want to cook tonight. God darn it. So I guess I'll go ahead and get the stand-up paddle down. You hear that? People are getting pulled. Fine. I wish I motorboated. What? Squeeze me? Anyway, I'm sorry, uh, we're gonna get the paddle board off. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be out there going wee at some point. That's how we're gonna cool off before bed is jump in the gosh darn lake. The question is, do I wanna do this with or without the ladder? I hear grackles. Sorry, we don't allow grackles whilst camping. Grackles are nasty birds, ladies and gentlemen. If you only knew. One day I'll make a video about how nasty grackles are. Trust me, dirty birds. But seriously, like check out, it's six o'clock. <sighs> Come on. Most campsites, not most, I don't know, most. I'm gonna say most, take that. I haven't even done a study. I can just make up news, I don't care. But if check out say 11, noon, you know, I can see you definitely pushing that maybe. I better make sure that buckle doesn't fall and hit my head, and it's probably going to. That didn't work out how I wanted it to, but that's okay. It did not work out at all. All right, it's good. Got some ants up here, it's good. All right, and guess what? I did remember my paddle. I'm bringing a paddle board, even though the paddle sucks slob. That is a mistake. Here, we just throw it in the grass over here. This is my real estate. I'm going to go and just get in the lake and paddleboard out, jump in, cool off, eat junk, and go to bed. It's pretty loud. Finally got some coffee going. It's already almost nine o'clock. My neighbors uh, were up very late. Wow. And they weren't being rowdy, but they have a loud talker. And they have one of those bright camping lights that you, you just put up in the air and it just, no directivity of the light at all. It just blinds everybody who looks toward, toward them, including them. The bright light on and one guy's such a loud talker and the F-bomb every other word. And, like, is he mad? Oh no, he's just, that's how he talks. <laughs> uh, it was 2 a.m. He was just, they're all hurting and they're telling stories and 
that's great. But, you know, turn it, turn it a little down. You're at a 10, I need you at about a three. But my air conditioning was on. I didn't hear anything unless I came outside, so it didn't bother me. But now, guess what? It's nine o'clock and there's no signs of life over there. I wonder why, because well, there was a kid running around probably unsupervised. And that's probably why there's bread in the lake and I may have to save him from drowning because no one's supervising him. Great, I just thought about that. In the distance, you, you, there's no way you can hear it. I just hear an iPhone alarm clock going off. It's been going off for about an hour. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I'm at home and trying to get my son out of bed. He's got several alarms. Like one's playing music, one's ring-a-ding-a-ding-a. Maybe just two, but they're both loud and he ignores both of them until we yell. And then our, we're the, the ultimate alarm. I just, people are different. So when you see people doing things and you just try to figure it out and you, some of them disgust you, some of them impress you and you're just trying to figure out what's going on, man. <laughs> yeah, they're all just car camping. There's no tents. I used to car camp all the time, so. Keep it simple, stupid. I don't think they're level at all either. Good lord. There's a white car. <laughs> I just saw some some silhouette of some arms stretching in the white car, so they must just be car camping. <laughs> I used to car camp in the Forerunner all the time. In fact, I should get rid of that rooftop tent and save a whole lot of gas, man. An extra pound and drag. Pounds and drag. Sounds like a drag bar. Pounds and drag. Heavy, they're portly cross dressers, pounds and drag. It was, uh, I think the last time I went to pounds and drag was in Key West, if I remember correctly. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, we have a problem. I'm pacing. That guy's alarm is still going off. It's been an hour, it's almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> That's neat. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Probably not enough food. Here he comes. Oh my god. All that dust. Gotta do all this grass. All this grass. Just in time for a nice meal. A little dust and grass in your ass. Oh. I love the smell of grass as I dine. So that's about all today is, the rest of today, nothing, just doing nothing. There's a bunch of geese working their way up here. Geese, oh, aren't you guys cute? No, no, they're disgusting animals. They just poop dog-sized turds everywhere and make odd noises at night. What's up, dog turd producers? Okay, I won't hurt you. The other day when I was walking down here to uh, put my paddleboard in the lake, looking at the ground, I'm seeing some, some what I thought was dog turds. Freaking geese turds. You guys know you can fly. Like, why would you not just be flying right now? Go fly. Geese shit. Geese shit. Geese, oh my God. You might as well just bring your dogs down here. You'd never know the difference. Yeah, go, go to sea. You guys can be in the sea or in the air and you're choosing to be on land. Dum-dums.